hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Danielle and I hope you're all doing well so in today's video I'm just going to be talking about the realities of having relaxed hair so I have been relaxed for six months now and I've learned a lot of things during my journey so I'm just going to be talking about a few pointers if anyone is going to relax their hair or is relaxed and what the reality of relaxed hair is really like as we all know in the recent years relaxed hair is starting to become quite popular now most people are going back to relaxers and the main reason is just due to manageability if they want something just easy or manage it could be just due to lifestyle and stuff like that so most people are turning to relaxers so I've just got a few pointers or four points I should say of the realities of relaxed hair so point number one is anyone who is self-relaxing and it is going through under process or over process hair. So under process, some people do it purposely and that is like if they want a text lax look. So they will put the relaxer in, quickly wash it out and then they just do it so it loosens their hair. So it loosens their coils and curls. So they just want a loose or cold texture. So some people do it purposely and that's known as text lax. However, myself included is going through under process. So it's doing everything in the instructions and um, it's still looking like there's quite a lot of texture in it. So for me personally, it's either I'm moving on to a live relaxer now because I was previously using no live relaxer. If that still don't work, then I know I need a stronger relaxer. So just be careful of under processing your hair. Another one could be over processing, and over processing is not great because your hair could easily fall out. Definitely read the instructions what the box or the container says on there. Um, how to, to leave it in the relaxers for your hair type. So it's really really important. Do not leave it until it's burning, or if you're getting any tingling feeling please wash out your hair because that could lead to hair loss. So my next tip or my next point is when we're detangling our hair, hair tools to use. Hair tools, the best hair tools I find for myself is my wide tooth comb and my paddle brush. Those for me are the best hair tools for my hair. Obviously we know we have to still detangle our hair I like to put my hair in the famous four sections. It makes it so much easier to me where I can just do each section and comb it out and detangle it. Because even though it is a, like your hair is relaxed and been processed, it's still got a chemical in it. So your hair is a little bit more weaker. Obviously you have to determine the moisture and the protein balance for your hair type. But other than that, you gotta remember your hair is in a chemical and it's going to be weaker and it's going to be prone to breakage so when it comes to your detangling make sure you've got the right hair tools that works for you like I said a wide tooth comb is really good and a paddle brush so another point which I cannot stress and I have had some issues with is when you've got your regrowth texture so you know when you've got the two textures of hair so you've got your relaxed hair and then you've got your regrowth texture that it can be the most challenging especially if you're doing a longer stretch I will talk about stretching in a bit but it can be really really challenging when it comes to your regrowth hair it can be it depends of your hair texture but my hair is very very thick and very very coarse and it's also a very high density so I have a lot of hair so for instance when it comes to my regrowth it's very Hard. and when you're moist give you an example when it comes to moisture you have to make sure you really moisturize that regrowth to make it so much easier for you to manage for when whatever style you desire to do but then it comes into your detangling which I just mentioned that you have to make sure you detangle the two sections and be extra extra careful because where that demarcation between your new growth and your relaxed hair it is very prone to break it and you have to be very delicate with it very very delicate you have to baby your hair when it comes to like i said it depends how long you're stretching your hair for you just have to be really really careful 
So my last one is stretching, which I just mentioned. So stretching, stretching is good, especially the modern day person who's now relaxing. I remember back in the days, we used to read a box. It did say six to 10 weeks. If you know after 10 weeks, your hair starts breaking off or after 12 weeks, I would say try and go for 12 weeks. That's a three month stretch if you can, because of if your hair starts breaking off, it gets more difficult and it's like, you feel like it's not working for you. But the modern day way of relaxing your hair is stretching your hair as long as possible. Obviously, you have to really listen to your hair. If you can stretch your hair for five months, six months, that is really good. Some people even do it once a year. But listen to your hair. You can either slowly train your hair into stretches. So let's say start off with a 12-week stretch, then maybe a 16-week stretch, and so on and so forth. So really take your time and get to know your hair. Just because someone else can stretch their hair for six months, you may not can because your hair might start breaking off. But like I said, if you listen to the previous tips before, like your detangling method will help you. You know, finding the right tools, learning to moisturize and seal the regrowth and the relaxed hair that all plays a part in looking after your hair and your relaxed hair so like i said listen to your hair see how long you need to stretch it for and then if you need to put in a relaxer then put it in but stretch it as long as you can stretch it don't stretch it because you want to go off six months if you know your hair is going to break off no because you're just going to have a setback in your relaxed hair journey so really listen to your hair those are my four realities of relaxed hair which i've learned so far i will continue my journey if i've learned anything else or if you've got any other suggestions or tips you notice in your relaxed hair let me know i might have even experienced the same thing too so as always i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video so take care now bye